Hey everybody, so I'm here today to talk about the Woman King. What a powerful force to be reckoned with of a movie this was. Viola Davis, if you didn't already love her, you will love her even more now because of this role. This movie actually tells a story of one that I was not familiar with um, and one that I'm even more fascinated to learn more about. It is um, about the Agoji, who are just this tribe of women who are these female warriors in Africa in the early 1800s who are there to protect the kingdom of Dahomey, which so fascinating. I didn't know that these female warriors existed, um, and it was just so great to kind of see these badass women at the forefront of this movie just in terms of how they will stop at no end to protect what is right for them. Um, and Viola Davis is like, again, the lead of this movie. She is there to kind of help recruit and re you know just get everybody ready for battle, all these young women. And just watching these women train and learn how to, you know, fight and survive and go to battle, it's like a really wild experience that I don't think we've ever really gotten a chance to ever see on film. And with Viola Davis at the helm, I mean, you cannot go wrong. So watching that all together with just these brilliant actresses, all of the women in this movie across the board, incredible. You know, some of their names that I don't want to butcher, so I'm not going to try and pronounce them. But, you know, incredible. All of like the leading women in this movie, even like the characters on the side, just everyone brings their A game in this film. Lots of fun action, lots of great battle sequences. Again, Viola Davis, already just incomparable uh, as an actress, but especially now that you get to see her kind of do a role like this. And the way she talks about it as she's been promoting it, the amount of, you know, work that she had to do in terms of training at her age, not saying that she's old, but just, you know, the older that you get, the training for a movie like this can be a little bit more challenging. But this woman was running at 10 miles per hour on the treadmill at like 58 years old. If that's not inspiring, I don't know what is, but you can definitely see the work pays off in The Woman King. So much fun, so much action, so much happening, but also more importantly, it's not even so much the action, which is obviously the entertaining aspect of it, but for me, it was learning about the Agoji and just learning about these women who were always considered not to be the most beautiful or to be the most, you know, um, attractive of some kind. But that wasn't the point. It was that they fought for what was right for them. They fought for their kingdom and they stopped at nothing to protect. And that's what I love about the movie. I love the message behind that is that these women are badasses, reminding everybody, even today, that even back then in the early 1800s, they can do no wrong. So check out The Woman King if you haven't seen it. It is worth the time and it is so much fun.